Um, in your relationship sector, uh, what I feel happening is for some of you, you might experience separation, either physical distance that's keeping you apart from your relationship partner, or there is like a, a very busy energy where your partner might be traveling outside of the vicinity. So there's going to be, you know, long distance communication, but they're not physically, they might not be physically in the picture for some time of this week, okay? There's also work and um, obligations and, you know, uh, things like that. Work interfering with the flow of the relationship. So if you're dealing with somebody, um, I see a lot of movement, a lot of travel, a lot of things happening for them. And as a result of that, they might not be around to be emotionally or physically even available to you. There seems to be a lot of things going on in their life. And I feel like you just need to kind of... Um, focus on your own practical responsibilities, your own work, your own life, and wait for them to come back around. So I, I see this element here about some of you feeling a little bit more alone and isolated, mainly because you don't have that sounding board, you don't have that emotional support system because the partner might not be in the picture, or they're not understanding what you're struggling with and they're not there to be kind of like your emotional anchor, okay? The energy that you bring to the table, it looks really positive. The Queen of Pentacles. So this is somebody that, you know, she's, um, she's very affectionate and she's not verbally affectionate, but she's very uh, physically affectionate. This is someone who's very tactile, who likes to give massages, who likes to comfort their partner, who likes to cook, who will step up in times of need when the partner is feeling down, you will step up. You will go above and beyond in order to make your partner uh, happy. I usually think of this as someone who's a nurse. Um, when the partner is feeling under the weather or dealing with some physical ailments, you make soup, you massage them, you you know take really good care of them, you tuck them into bed, you make sure that they are well fed and that they're nourished. So this is a really good positive energy that you're bringing to the table. And I feel like you might also be that um, emotional anchor for your partner for this week. And as a result of it, when we have to step up in times of need because our partner is feeling under the weather or feeling uh, kind of down, we put our needs on the back burner, right? And so I feel like you want your partner to be there and, and to, to be present in your own life. And you want them to also be that emotional anchor for you. But I feel like this is more of your energy stepping up in a relationship and putting your needs second, mainly because there's something else that your partner is dealing with, okay? Uh, the way that your partner shows up in this spread, we have here the Six of Wands. And this card indicates a lot of movement, a lot of career success, visibility. You might be dealing with someone who is highly, highly visible in the public sphere. So they could be, you know, uh, they, they might have a lot of fame. They might manage a lot of people. They might have a wide following. They might have a lot of uh, just fame and fortune associated with them. This is somebody who's traveling over water. So like they could be, you know, uh, taking a trip. They could be um, going somewhere long distance. And I feel like, you know, it's, it's by horse. So it's not like by plane uh, where it's like across the, the world. They're, they're traveling locally. But there, there's a lot of movement here. And when I laid down the cards, you know how it's kind of curved and it's bent and it's like overlapping the other cards. So it indicates to me somebody that's making, um, that's securing their professional life. That's very, very heavily focused on getting projects done. They might be so visible where they have to do a lot of presentations, where they have to do a lot of meet and greet. They might have to do a lot of outreach. They might have to be in the public eye. And so they're kind of burnt out. And when they're done, by the end of the day, they just want to retreat and they don't want to do anything. So they might not want to go out. They might not want to socialize or mingle or, you know, do a lot of group activities with you. So they're they're in their professional life. They're like this. But in their own personal life, I feel like they're a little bit more of a hermit, okay? Um, the energy that they see you with, we have here, this is the Eight of Pentacles. They see you as someone who's very, 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 very busy, okay? Um, you might have two jobs that you're 
juggling. The um, the energy for this, the, the two cards that show up here, they're both green. And I feel like it's in alignment with your energy, the earthiness, the nurturing, the earthiness. So I feel like you're doing a lot of um, um, caretaking in your own life. You're either taking care of other people who might be ailing or who might be under the weather. Or you're doing a lot of caretaking in your own life, juggling two jobs, juggling jobs and work, juggling, you know, responsibilities, taking care of the little ones, making sure that the little ones are not getting away. Look at this card and look at the, the two snakes. I feel like you're dealing with uh, things that are a little bit kind of like slippery. Um, and when I think of uh, things that are slippery, I think of like mechanics. I think of um, people who work with their hands. I also think of uh, in a work environment where you are going to have to temper your like having that professional and private life, like separating the two so that you don't share too much with your coworkers. You don't share too much about, you know, your relationship status and, and things like that. Keeping things a little bit more professional and finding that work life balance so that you're not taking the work home and not letting it affect your psyche. So I feel like your partner sees you as someone who's very, very, very busy, um, who has um, a lot on your plate. And I feel as well that, you know, there is still constant communication between you and a crush or between you and a partner. But work priorities, things that you have to knock down out, um, making to do lists and, and all the things, the practical responsibilities that you have to take care of, I feel like you're they see you as someone who's very hardworking, who tries really, really hard, and who's having a little bit of trouble juggling two things, two aspects of their lives, or even separating the work life from the home life. I see two kids, some of you might have two children that you're managing, and it's like, I keep seeing things slipping away. It's like you feed one, and then the other one, you have to feed them, and then uh, while you're feeding the second one, um, the first child is like, you know, running off. Like I, I see things like that, like having to keep everything under control, having to create more of a routine for yourself and needing to create that structure for yourself so that you can get things done. So I, because of that, I feel like there might be some, um, not so much arguments, but I feel like, you know, uh, disagreements on in terms of what we should do, what systems, uh, what procedures to do when it comes to parenting, co-parenting. And then when it also comes to balancing out, you know, the, the work life with the professional life, making sure that you're where you're supposed to be to take care of the family needs at the same time, not letting it affect your work. So for example, if you're caretaking for a child, um, I feel like, you know, if your partner's out of the picture, then you're going to need to really balance it out and not let it affect your work, okay? But they see you as someone who's really, really busy, who's trying to create a name, who's trying to make a mark for him or herself. So the, the way they see you is actually very positive. You're a doer, you're a fixer, and you take into account, you know, detail. So they see you as detail oriented. They also see you as a little bit more to focus on all the practical responsibilities and they're leaving you the time and the space in order to do that. So the separation between you and a partner is showing up here as the three of swords. And for some of you, they might be physically traveling out of the picture. There could also be like a little bit of disagreement over work matters, finances, where we're putting our energies, where we're um, spending and, and reining in that spending. So talks and discussions about work and life balance, about work and personal life, about work and children, and about work and um, the relationship overall and juggling the two. I feel like there is going to be something that comes out into the picture for this week that you're going to have to deal with with your relationship partner. Um, with the Three of Swords energy wedged in between two Pentacles card, I feel almost like we're going from an eight into a two. So the eight is sort of like narrowing down your options and figuring out, you know, if you're those of you who are single and dating, you might have somebody that you're very attracted to that is like coming, traveling towards you. And I see this energy about needing to reciprocate. So if one person traveled already to come see you, and you're at a distance from them, then you're going to have to 
um, travel to go see them, right? And so there's a dynamics here about looking at your financial assets and looking at your financial resources and figuring out whether or not that's a doable venture for you to take that trip to go see them. So I see you actively trying to bridge the distance. And I also see many of you who are newly single, you're kind of burying yourself in work. You're trying to build up your financial foundation and you're trying to build up your wealth, which is great. And so in terms of relationship partner, you have somebody that's coming towards you and they're, they're very, for those who are single, at least they're very, very adamant about pursuing you. And they're very adamant about telling you, Hey, I can help with this. I have this to offer. I have that to offer. And so the energy looks really, really good. And I feel for some of you, there might even be a juggling of two relationship partner, possibly somebody from your past that you've already broken up with. And then a new person coming in, uh, possibly a fire sign here with the six of wands. It's a fire energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. And um, trying to make that work, trying to transition between one relationship to the next when you are still a little bit apprehensive and fearful about getting involved with a new person who's coming at you a little bit too strong and you might have gotten out of a relationship so you're not yet ready but you see them as somebody that is quite popular. This is my popularity card, okay, somebody that is on a horse and they have a lot of suitors, they have a lot of options but they're pursuing you exclusively. So the, the, the attention can be very, very flattering, but you're also very apprehensive. All right. In other areas of your life, I have an air sign that is showing up. Um, I have an Aquarius, a Gemini or a Libra. And I feel this person might be showing up in your work environment or in your social connections. And what I feel happening with this air sign, um, so Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, this is somebody that is implementing some major moves in their life. They are coming up as the energy of the magician, queen of swords, air sign, and the magician. This is somebody that is, has a lot of skills. Okay. They, they have like, they know many things about many things. So I'm, I'm forced to say like more of a Gemini Libra type of energy where they're very social. They're very likable. They're very charming. Um, there could be attraction as well in the work environment. And either way, um, I see you and this person working together in order to synthesize information, in order to make sense of information. And I see them holding you in very, very high regards because they see you as this energy of the magician. And they are coming to you for your guidance, for your expertise, because they know that you wear many hats. And speaking of hats, I feel like things are really looking up for you guys in your professional life where there's a lot of work to be done. So you're keeping yourself quite busy and happily so. And I see you troubleshooting for a lot of people because, you know, with the magician, he has all the elements, the pentacles, the swords, the wands and the water, the chalices and the cups. And what that means is you can be um, an emotional coach to somebody in the work front if they've had a bad day. And then you switch gears, you switch hats, and you can be like an IT person for somebody who, and helping them sh uh, troubleshoot technical issues. You can also, you know, switch the hats and, and uh, wield a sword where you're giving technical advice. You're giving them retirement advice. You're also giving them um, just like uh, more like life advice. Life coaching is what I'm feeling as well. And then you can switch to the wands and showing them how to improve their processes, how to take initiative, how to kind of um, do long-term planning for their career. So I see you wearing many, many hats and you're doing it with such ease as well. And so whatever advice you give out, just remember you're the messenger. And so don't be so personally invested in it. And I, I don't feel that this is going to be a big problem for you guys, but you also are practical enough to know that, okay, if I'm spending, you know, 20 minutes to advise you on something, I would like it if you follow my advice or, you know, um, self-correct your course of action. But I feel like the other person might not, they're just coming to you just to pick your brains and they're not really taking the advice. And then they come back and they're like, Oh, sorry, I didn't take your advice. And this is what happened. And this is what is happening with them. So we have here the five of cups regrets as well as, you know, a situation that didn't work out exactly the way that they anticipated. And now they're coming to you for a second round. Okay. So I see this, um, 
this energy of having to wear multiple hats, of having to, you know, pick up the pace, of having to deal with many, many people in different capacities and advising them, giving them consultations or showing them technical like expertise and, and being the one that fixes other people's issues. And um, the first card that came out of the deck here is the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is travel and movement. So I feel like there might be travel in the works for you, a vacation that you're planning, um, a trip, going out and just having a good time, or even like long distance relationship that you're managing. So I see the love sector kind of bleeding into your uh, work environment. And somebody in your work environment, I feel it's also leaving the workplace and you're finding out about it this week, okay? So they might not be leaving this week, but you might be finding out about it this week, or they could be physically leaving the week. And as a result, uh, the position, if it's a higher upper position, that position might be available. So it's really um, pertinent for you to kind of, um, you know, keep your ears to the ground and see if that's something you want to apply for. So I see something breaking open for you guys. And I see like as well, plans are being, you know, solidify in your professional life and I see many of you um, juggling two two jobs or juggling two aspects of yourself and juggling two things um, the magician is a card as well of learning so I, I feel a lot of a, a very strong like student vibe with this spread a very strong student vibe so whatever like for example if you've had difficulties juggling work and school and you might not have gotten the 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 um, proper um, like grades, the proper you know test exams and things things like that. You're taking a break, but you're drawing inward and and you're also retrieving information. Okay, what did I do wrong? How can I improve things next time? Okay, so this is a card here about having opportunities to go out, but choosing to stay home to be studious and choosing to kind of like work on yourself so that you don't make the same mistakes. The second time around so it's like mastering everything in your environment to make it work for you rather than doing things the hard way okay because i feel like last week was quite busy and you guys were like really doing things the hard way this is a week where there's a little bit of r and r rest and recuperation and as a result of it i feel like it's going to be much better for your psyche to be able to kind of put things to rest and enjoy yourself a little bit and go out and have fun. I see an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, and this is somebody that is bringing more fun, more opportunities for socializing. They're, they're asking a lot of questions. And so you have to be very, very communicative with them. So I see a lot of communication flowing back and forth between you and this person. And I feel like there are changes in their lives and they're bringing this energy to you. Um, I keep seeing somebody leaving the work environment. Okay, so you might hear about it. There might be discussions about it. And I feel as well that um, their achievements reflect really well on you. Okay, so your energy looks really good. Okay, um, Capricorn, overall, I, I feel like it's a hodgepodge type of a week where a lot of things are happening, but it's happening to other people and they're, you're hearing about it rather than it happening to you. So you're kind of like the passive um, bystander and you're hearing all of the things buzzing around you. Um, I don't see a lot of like uh, work piling up. I feel like, you know, you're knocking things down one by one. So there's a little bit of a respite, like um, rest and recuperation happening for you guys. Okay. And then people, if you're taking care of people, they're going to get better by the end of the week. All right. Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Take care. All right. And I'll talk to you soon.